Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi T. Grant. If this is your first time here, if this is not your first time here, thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm a New York City freelance makeup artist and I'm also a mother. So if you're interested in content surrounding fashion, makeup, and motherhood, make sure that you guys subscribe. Today's video is going to be a part two to black owned makeup brands that I just really wanted to share with you guys. So before, I don't want to ramble too much, I really want to get right into it, but before we start, make sure that you guys subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. And I wanted to share that today I have a full face of black owned products on my face. I know I said I will be sharing, doing a full face video. It is still coming, so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. I'll be linking all the products down below. And I'm also wearing a dress by a black designer. Her name is Hanifa. She is actually one of the first people ever to do a 3D fashion show. Her fashion show went viral. She has beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I was so happy to get my hands on this. I had my eye on this piece for a while. Finally was able to get my hands on it. And I'm so excited about it. Make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram because I will be posting a picture and giving all the product details. I do have to get this dress tailored because I am only five feet tall and most maxi dresses, this is a maxi dress, most maxi dresses are too long for me anyway. But it is such a gorgeous piece. I think it's definitely worth every single penny and I will be getting my cost per wear because it's a style that I usually wear and gravitate to. So before we, I can ramble on and on about fashion products, let's get right into the makeup products. I have my book here once again with all the different details. The first brand that I want to share with you guys is a brand by a makeup artist and her name is Danessa Myricks. She has some of the most amazing products on the market, especially if you're an artist and you're looking to find really great creative products to put in your kit. Lillian, she does some of the most beautiful, beautiful makeup looks that I've ever seen. I'll pop up pictures in this video so that you guys can see. I have a few friends that actually have worked with her and say amazing things about her. The first time I ever tried any of her products, I was actually at IMATS, which is a makeup show that I think it's only in New York. I think it's New York and LA that um, IMATS goes to. And most of the time, the owners of those brands are there. She was there. She was such a personable person. Everyone who knew her in the industry just walked up to her, talked to her. She was very passionate about her products and selling her products. And just because I'm talking about her products, let me share some of her most popular and top selling products and then I'll kind of share what products I've tried and my opinions on them. So the Vision Cream Cover Foundation, gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is it. It says cream foundation. It looks like it could be a liquid because of the applicator, but it is very creamy. This I got, it was in the wrong shade, but I used this to contour, so I used it today to contour my face. I love to contour with creams anyway, so it's a great product. I love it. It blends so nicely with the skin. The undertones are gorgeous. The packaging is just so cool. All of her products have really, really great packaging. Another one of her products that I've tried, the Evolution Powder, one of my top favorites. I've spoken about this product in videos in the past. I use it almost every single time that I do my makeup. It is similar to a setting powder, but it has a very buttery light finish skin light finish is not heavy on the skin it photographs beautifully if you had, if you are a makeup artist and you're looking to have some products that look really like like you know powders that set oils but don't make the skin look matte gorgeous beautiful 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 and if you're someone obviously who does makeup regularly maybe you have oily skin or a combination skin like me it's a beautiful setting powder or powder loose powder it's so 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 good these are her illuminating veils i bought these when i was so there was a time when i was obsessed with highlighter anyone who's like known me know me personally or ever worked with me like they know i used to wear a lot of highlighter i don't wear highlighter as much as i used to um i still feel like i'm glowing and i feel like i can get that highlighter glow using other products but um anyway these products look amazing if you use them underneath foundation to have a glow from within look. These photograph really well. I love these for like makeup, um, for photo shoots, working it, using it with clients. You can use this as blushes. They're just very, very versatile. And what I love about her products is that she does make them, she is catering them for artists. You know, people who are cre who want to create and 
have more control over the products to do different things with them but even for everyday people who will play around with makeup and just want to have fun with it and use makeup in a different unconventional way you can also do that with her products as well like the color fix 24 hour cream color she has it in matte and metallics i'll pop up a picture of it because i don't have the item here to show you guys but what it is is in like a tube like a lip gloss and you can use the color you can use it on the eyes you can use it on the lips and even though i'm like she's a makeup artist and i'm saying you know artists use it you don't have to be a professional makeup artist to use these products you could just be someone who loves makeup and loves color and loves to play and loves to create different looks with your products and they're just really fun easy products to use the pigmentation is amazing I love her products and if you've never heard about her before I definitely recommend you trying out her products follow her on Instagram about the beauty bakery beauty bakery is such a really cute line like if you check out I'll pop up pictures of some of the products because I don't own any of them but I'm looking forward to buying from this brand the brand itself as you guys can see sit, tell by the name beauty bakery it is like bakery or pastry inspired themed products so there's she has a plethora of products like from complexion to eyeshadows to um, setting powders to literally almost everything to create a full face application with her makeup products one of her most popular items or some of her popular items are the brownie bar which is a trio i believe it's like a bronzer highlighter and blush really really cute and it's the packaging is super cute as well um she also sells you guys are gonna like gag at what i'm about to tell you guys so they're blending sponges so it's a set of blending egg beauty sponges that's what it's called it is a pack of six sponges for $18 six for $18 okay beauty blender I believe at this point is like $20 maybe $22 is really expensive for just one and you have to replace them every few months I don't know if you know but they do create they have mold like you can get mold in your products so you in the sponge so you have to replace them every few months for $18 for six, like you can, you know, you buy it once every, tw maybe twice a year, maybe not even like once a year, you can buy it and reuse the sponges. Of course, I don't, I've never tried them personally. I don't know how great the sponges are, but for $18, like it's totally worth the try if you're looking to buy sponges. I'm going to buy them and I will keep you guys posted if I enjoy them. I also wanted to say that this brand has been out for a hot minute like I've heard of, this is this brand is not a new brand it's been out for a while and a lot of her products have been duplicated um, like her setting powders her setting powders are like baking powder she created a baking powder because her brand is about pastries and baking and a few years later other brands were copying the same kind of baking pastry theme creating products similar to it Huda Beauty is one of them um, so I just wanted to share that not to be shady but just because I want you guys to know that these beauty brands a lot of times are innovators in this industry and create products that are not on the market and the moment that you know other people start to see that they're really popular or it's really cool or it's doing really well instead of maybe putting money behind the brand to put them in different platforms all over the world you know they instead copy and duplicate it and it's just it's sad that it happens but it happens very very often and this is why i think it's really important for me to do videos like this to share these brands with you guys so that you guys can support them and keep the business a lot their businesses alive she also has a spray your grace baking spray which is nice um it's basically a setting spray that I wanted to share with you guys is Minted Cosmetics. So Minted Cosmetics is a brand that I actually heard about them for the first time or found out about them for the first time when I was in Macy's. I live in New York City. I went to the Macy's on 34th Street and I saw this brand in there and I just loved the nude lipsticks that they have. I was like, oh my god, they, they're really, really nice nude lipsticks. And lo and behold, I didn't know at the time, but it was... A black owned brand so they have matte lipsticks that are gorgeous and their lip liners their lip liners are amazing because they just work so well on our skin and as we know as black women it is very difficult sometimes to not only find new lipsticks but then to find a nude lip liner 
to put on with your lipstick so that your you know when you do a nude lip it doesn't look bad <laughs> or you know it blends in with your complexion their blushes are be beautiful one of their most popular blushes is buried away and i love how that blush color looks it's really really gorgeous so if you're a brown skinned woman um medium to deep and you're looking for a nice blush that blush is really really good um another thing that i thought was really interesting they sell nude nail polishes their nail polishes are eight dollars they have four different shades i just thought that was really nice i think that this brand for me, when I when I see the brand, I think it's catered to the everyday working woman. They even have an eyeshadow palette called Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. And it's a beautiful eyeshadow palette which works, has beautiful neutral everyday colors that you can wear and actually get tons of wear out of those colors. Okay, so I don't know where I even left off. I had to fix my eyelash. So the brand itself, when I look through everything from the brand, it is created for the everyday working woman. A woman who wants to elevate how they look in terms of their makeup application, but they don't want anything too dramatic. You know, they want to be able to walk into a meeting and look like themselves, but look more elevated. And, and I really, really appreciate that because I think that the makeup industry has kind of geared to, you know, very bold, colorful products, you know, products that are so not always very practical and realistic in terms of what you might actually get a lot of use out of and this brand is just very simple it's good it's basic it allows you to feel really confident in applying your makeup application using simple products and i think there's a huge market for that so if you are someone like that i definitely recommend checking out this brand that i wanted to showcase and talk about is from another makeup artist actually his name is aj crimson he is a celebrity makeup artist he's been doing makeup on celebrities for a really long time um, some of his most popular products are the artist kit and i pop up i will pop up a picture of it it is a cream foundation kit it retails for 150 dollars, which might seem steep but if you're a makeup artist you know that that's just kind of an investment that you have to make into your kit anyway what i think is really incredible about his products is how they so beautifully blend well with each other so all of the cream colors in that kit you can mix them to create a custom color for your clients and i remember i follow him on instagram and he posted an old video where he was showing like how beautiful the colors look like he literally took every single color and mixed it together and it didn't look like mud Or, you know something like some unrealistic color they just are so well made they're formulated extremely well he really took the time to make sure that the undertones were done beautifully for women of color and that I wanted to speak about is someone who's really got their name and their brand out there through social media and I think and she did it in, in an incredible way um I don't want to focus too much on the owner of the company because I can talk about her for a long time really really love her backstory but the brand itself is called the crown case these products are so cute all of the products are themed like for like school theme back to school itself is just really cool really fun it really is geared towards a nor like a younger audience you know someone who loves to play with makeup and play around with color but again um there's no age to makeup and like what you want to do and what you enjoy what colors you enjoy playing with and doing with your makeup so although the products itself might might seem very kitty and light and fun products are really really great the pigmentation is amazing on her eyeshadows oh my god the pigmentation is just like superb of her top selling eyeshadow palettes the book of crowns palette which is very colorful bright colors and then the matte book which is more matte color some more subtle colors and another product that i thought was really cool is her chalk dust setting powder when you look on the website and you check out some of her products like it just makes you smile just to see how creative she is with these products and the things that she was able to create it just again another oh 
I knew that there was a reason why I really wanted to feature this brand in this video because I said it a little bit earlier a lot of these brands are innovators right and they come out with these themes and these products that are just so cool and then different brands bigger brands just want to copy them because they see you know what a huge market it is if they feature similar like products so again so Sephora decided to do a collab with I think Moschino and they did a collab featuring different school supplies products and it was just like really guys like we already knew like if you knew about the the crown case prior to seeing that you already knew where they got their inspiration from and um even i think crayola at some point started coming they did a makeup line with asos i believe and it was kind of bland and boring but you can tell that they saw that she was making a killing with school supplies themed products and they were like oh there's a market for that let's create products for it nothing is necessarily wrong with that i mean if you see that there's a market for something and you have the money to create products great but i just want to share like these are the people the the people behind the people who started these trends you might see them all over and you may not know that oh it was created but created by a black person first so i wanted to feature some more of the more popular ones towards the end so another brand that i wanted to feature is also a makeup artist who has her own makeup line now pat mcgrath she is a g when it comes to this makeup thing she's been doing this for so long she is a one of the top makeup artists in the world if not the top in, in my personal opinion i think she is um she's worked on one of the biggest supermodels like all of the biggest biggest supermodels all over the world um she's was head makeup artist for tons of different fashion luxury fashion brands i mean you could do your research on her if you want she's a black woman and she is such an inspiration if you are a makeup artist you know like all makeup artists stand for pat mcgrath we some of her most popular products are her eyeshadows, her Mothership palettes, Mothership 2, I'll pop up a picture, her lipsticks, oh, gorgeous, her lipsticks and the packaging for the lipsticks are gorgeous as well, so I'll be posting, popping those up. I do have some, but they're in my um, lipstick case and I don't feel like going in my closet, but I have the minis, I don't have the big ones. I don't I don't believe I have any of the big ones but I have tons of different mini ones oh so her complexion line which is really good complexion line is called skin fetish and she has foundations concealers powders she also has brushes she sells you know tools for you to do your makeup application your foundation at least like your complexion application she also sells merch on her website which I think is really really cool if you don't know now you know the other brand that I want to talk about is Marina Bouti. I believe, correct me, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but I actually heard about this brand via social media and it is a Swedish based black owned makeup brand and their products are gorgeous. So I want to show you some of the products that I purchased myself and then um, share a nice little story with you guys. And so when I purchased the products, I purchased two products. I purchased their bronzer, which I feature all the time, and the blush. Love these products, like they're just so good. I remember when I purchased these, I purchased them because I they were like investment pieces for my makeup kit. I wanted to have more like higher end luxury performing, bronzers and blushes and they're just so good i use them all the time these are my two go-to products go-to bronzer go-to blush the blush is in the shade can be berry and then the bronzer is in the shade ebony love 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 the reason why i wanted to share talk about this brand is because i wanted to share that i actually won a giveaway from this brand she had the brand had a giveaway on their instagram page and i was like well let me just like you gotta be in it to win it let me just throw myself in it and i actually was one of the winners i won um six of their nude lipsticks they launched a line of lipsticks and they have a matte line and then they have a like a satin finish like but I will be featuring doing a post on these lipsticks on my website so check it out Naomi T Grant Beauty that might be high um, but they're great products and if you're looking for luxury high-end good quality 
beauty products i definitely recommend checking out this brand and it's not a brand that i think people know about a lot because it's not based in the u.s but it is amazing so check it brand that i wanted to talk about a little bit is fenty beauty and the reason why i wanted to talk about it is because i think this might be a segue for another video that i want to do we all know Fenty Beauty is a brand created by Rihanna who is a black woman but a lot of people don't know um, that it's not all owned by Rihanna. So I remember when I used to work at Sephora, Sephora at the time had a lot of brands in their stores that was owned by another brand called Kendo. Whoever worked for Kendo, they worked for all of the different beauty brands under Kendo and they would come and sell different products. So for example, um kendo as a kendo as a big umbrella the companies underneath it at the time was mark jacobs beauty um kat von d la henderson which was a skincare line and still is a skincare line bite beauty as well as elizabeth and james which is the olsen twins it is there to sell fragrances at sephora so yeah so i remember someone from kendo telling me that rihanna was launching a beauty brand and it will be under kendo so kendo owns part of sephora i'm um, part of sephora part of fancy beauty as well as lvmh and lvmh not only owns part of fancy beauty but as you guys might know now they also own part of um, her fancy clothing line her fancy clothing line is under lvmh 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 actually owns Sephora as well, but they are Louis Vuitton, they're the Louis Vuitton brand. So I just wanted to share that because a lot of times, not that Rihanna is the face of the brand and doesn't have ownership, because she does have ownership of her brand, I believe. Her brand is owned by herself and the owner of LVMH, but the brand as a whole is distributed under Kendo. So there's a lot of hands basically in that pot and honestly rightfully so this is a global brand at this point and in order for you to get your beauty brand to the masses and the way that fancy beauty is it would take more than just rihanna to do that but and not to say don't support it because it's not fully owned by rihanna but there's a lot of brands that you might think has black owners behind it and only black owners behind it and that is not the case so in the next set of videos that i will be sharing with you guys it's probably just be one because um i don't i don't think there's gonna be like me spilling the tea and i gotta keep spilling tea on it but i want to do a video sharing some beauty brands that many people might actually think is owned by a black owner and they're actually not there's a lot of them out there don't be fooled on a minor scale there's tons of brands that are telling us straight up lies and making us think that it's owned by black people and the people behind the brand is not black so i will be sharing that in a beauty in a video so, if you guys stick around this long thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love doing videos like this i love sharing different um black owned brands with you guys no matter which avenue whatever avenue i'm interested in whether it be makeup or fashion whatever it might be i love to share that with you guys i got a lot of great feedback on the last video and a lot of people were saying that they were interested in seeing more videos like this so make sure that you guys are subscribed make sure that you hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time that i post my videos and i hope you guys take care be well be safe make sure that you guys are still practicing social distancing because coronavirus is still a pandemic and it's still happening out there i will leave all the details of my makeup details as well as the details of my outfit down below and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching